Welcome guys to today's class. In this video, we want to discuss experiments on simple pendulum. Yes, it is important to note that one of the objectives of this experiment is to determine acceleration due to gravity. Yes, that acceleration due to gravity you know in your elementary school that it is denoted as G equals to either 980 centimeter per second square or 9.8 meter per second square. This is the equivalent or the value of acceleration due to gravity in centimeter per second square or in meter per second square. So the essence of this experiment is to determine this. That means when you perform this experiment live and direct, what you should be getting should be close to this value. Yes. If it is not exactly this value, the answer you will get should fall in this range. G equals to 954 centimeter per second square to so, so 1000, 1006 centimeter per second square. This is the equivalent. I mean, this is the range of value you are to get. That means, if you approximate this to nearest whole number, it will give you 1000. That is, if you approximate this to nearest hundreds, hundreds, unit tens, hundred. If you approximate it to the nearest hundred, you get 1000. If you approximate this to the nearest hundred, you will give it will give you 1,000. If you approximate this to the nearest 100, it will give you 1,000. Then, if you approximate this, this is a meter per second square. If you approximate it to the nearest, nearest whole number, nearest whole number, it will be giving you 10 meter per second square. So, this is the range of value of acceleration due to gravity, and this is the exact value we know from our elementary school. That means if I've done with performing experiment on this practical, or if I'm done with this experiment, what I should be getting should fall within this range. If we are talking about centimeter per second square. Then if you are talking about meter per second square, you are to get 9.5 for meter per second square to 10.06 centimeter per second square uh, meter per second square so you have seen that these are the range of value of your word g so the answer you have to get should fall within this range okay now what you do or the essence of this video is for us to see how to perform this experiment without touching apparatus. That is to say, we have to pick a value of G from this standard value we have, or range of values we have. Why I am considering this aspect is because the L given to us is in what? Centimeter. Now, this is the first time you got the second time you got the mean time, that is this plus this divided by two, the period, which is this over number of oscillation and square of this. Remember, when you are done with this experiment, I advise you, please, a good precaution taken to do this experiment to this extent. So, don't forget to include precaution while reporting your results. Now, I will pick the way, I'll pick a value here that is close to 980 and use it in getting my table. That is how we manipulate. We say G is equal to So what you have to do is to perform this without touching apparatus, what you do is pick a value from this range of value, 
that is close to 980 and use it as your G. G is equal to IP 970 centimeter per second squared. Now, this is the value I am to pick and use it with each of the, each of these values of L. Now, my T is equal to 2 pi root what? L over what? G. Look at the value of, or the formula for our G. This formula, we knew it before now from our simple pendulum topic. So, this is length and this acceleration due to gravity. With this formula, we will be getting the value for T and the value for T squared. Now, to get our first period, we say 2 pi root, our L is 100, our G is 970. Then, to get your second period, you say 2 pi root 90 all over 970. To get your third period, you say this is 2 pi root 80 all over 970. Okay, let's get their values. These values, we put it here. Our first thing is 2.02. We don't attach the second to it because already it has second on this top. Then this is 1.91. So the top T is 1.80. Want to get the next one? That is one of 70. We will say 2 pi root 70 all over 970. Then the next one, 2 pi root 60 all over 970. Then the next one, 2 pi root 50. 2 pi root 50 all over 970. Let's get their value. Okay? So you get it with your calculator. Check the last one. So I succeeded to get all these values you are seeing here using calculator. That is t equal to 2 pi root l, which is each of these values will be taken as a l all over 970. And whatever I got, I just put it to be in two decimal places. I put it to be in two decimal places so that they will be uniform. I don't include seconds to it because already the heading is very second. Then after this, I have to get this value and to get it, I will be squaring each of this value of t, which is 2.02 .02 squared. That will be 4. 4.08. 4 1.91 squared. 3.65 seconds squared. 1.8 squared. 3.24 second squared, 1.69 squared, 2.86 second squared, 1.56 squared, 2.43 second squared, 1.43 squared, that is 2.04 second squared. So we have succeeded to get the values of t and the values of t squared. Now, as we have gotten all these values, we want to see how to get this value. Recall that mean time all over number of oscillation is equal to period. Now note that the number of oscillation given is 20 oscillations. Therefore, mean time will be equal to number of oscillation times the period. 20 times each of the value of t. So 20 times 2.02 .02 will give you 40.40. 20 times 1.91 will give you 38.2. 20 times 1.8 will give you 36. 33.8. 
31.2. So when the 20 is multiplied to each and every of these values, you will get here. Now, when you are done with that, you also recall that to get your Tm, you say T1 plus T2 all over what 2. The first value of T plus the second value of T all over 2. That will be giving you that 2 times this will be 2Tm equal to T1 plus T2. And that will be giving you that therefore T2 will be equal to 2Tm minus T1. T1 is taken to be Tm plus or minus 1.00 second. That means that this minus 1 will be 39.40. This minus 1, 37.20. This minus 1, 35.00. This minus 1, 32.80. This minus 1, 30.20. This minus 1, 27.60. Then, next is T2 will be equal to 2Tm minus T1. 2 times 40.8, uh, 2 times 40.4 minus 39.4. That should be giving us 41.40. Yes. Then, 2 times this minus this, that should be giving us 39.20. 2 times this minus this, that should be giving us 37.00. 2 times this minus this, that should be giving us 34.80. 2 times this minus this, that should be giving us... Uh, 32.20 2 times this minus this that should be giving us 29.60 okay so we have succeeded to get our table of values for this experiment next is to go to graph plotting under the graph plotting we will also see how to get error in the slope after getting the slope you get error in the slope 